Hi, my name is Leah Mudkis peterson and I serve as Chairwoman of the Arizona Corporation Commission. As a reminder, our Arizona Corporation Commission regulates our utility industry, so electricity, water, gas, and wastewater. We have a limited role in telecommunications. We incorporate all the businesses in the state, handle railroad and pipeline safety. There's a lot of different items on our plate. Um, I thought I would shoot this short video to recap our open meeting and staff meeting that we held over the last couple days so that folks can understand better what our work is here at the Commission. Uh, very excited that we uh, worked with Nicola Corporation and APS to approve the APS tariff that will have no impact on ratepayers, but this is a special rate that APS will, will charge Nicola. They are a designer and manufacturer of electric and hydrogen semi-trucks. And they decided to locate their corporate headquarters here in Arizona, and this is going to enable economic development jobs and the production of hydrogen in our state, which is very exciting. We also, in this meeting, authorized a transmission line that will allow the development of 400 megawatts uh, of solar in Navajo County. Uh, it's enough to power 260 average homes, and it's being developed by Hash Knife near Joseph City, Arizona. Um, we had great comments from a Navajo County supervisor also in this approval. We received an update from CenturyLink, or Lumen, which is their new name, on the status of their maintenance of the 8 million pedestals in their network. We've expressed concern in the past about delayed maintenance. Uh, we also followed up with them on the formation of a 911 task force to ensure that we don't have outages uh, in this vitally important system for our state. We also tackled our code of ethics uh, with our two new commissioners, Commissioner Tovar and O'Connor, uh, joining us, which is wonderful. Uh, this was a really good time to address the code of ethics, which we originally voted on about a year and a half ago when I was initially appointed to the commission. We're seeking amendments for improvement. Uh, I know I have a number of them myself, as do my fellow commissioners, and I'm going to put this back on the agenda at our February open meeting to discuss. Also, we talked about our commission priorities for 2021. Uh, when I was blessed enough to be elected as chairwoman earlier this month, uh, my fellow commissioners and the public heard about my own priorities in the first 100 days in my acceptance speech upon being elected chair. And I wanted to hear from my fellow commissioners about their own priorities. You can read my letter in, in, on azcc.gov, which is our commission website. You can also find a link to my priorities in the comments below. We then followed our open meeting with our staff meeting. We had a, uh, a very good discussion on improvements on policies and procedures at the commission. We identified a number of improvements we'd like to enact to ensure transparency and more public engagement. And I've asked my fellow commissioner to send a list of ideas over the next few weeks to our executive director so we can discuss these at the next meeting. Um, we also discussed how we can improve our working relationship with our state legislature. We'd like to be more collaborative. I'm really looking forward to continuing to serve as a chairwoman of the Arizona Corporation Commission. Just a reminder that you can reach me and my team or, or any of the fellow commissioners uh, on our website at azcc.gov. Thanks again and have a great week.